Hey guys, welcome back to some more Ocarina of Time. We're back home in the Kakiri Forest at night, so it's time to get some bugs. We finished our mission! No, we didn't. Oh, hey, you're back soon! Yeah, about that. I'm only gonna be here for five minutes. You jumped over the roof. What, what the heck? heck? <laughs> That's one way to get the Skull I think they intend for you to technically have the boomerang for that, but you can just backflip. I've always backflipped. I don't want to deal with this. So there's two bugs we need to get here right now. That was the first one. And the second one is in this patch of ground. Because of course it is. These are all over the place. It's not... It's, it's like spiders are burying creatures, too. You know? Yeah. Although I do like how these soft soil patches work compared to the ones in Majora's Mask. Because the ones in Majora's Mask, when you have to do this cultural thing, they're... Really picky on location where you drop your bugs, and as soon as you drop your bugs, all three of them have to go in the hole. At least here you have a moment to go ahead and catch one of them before they dig, so you always have an infinite supply of bugs on you. Yeah, you don't have to go searching for bugs at that point. Yeah, I always hated that. So whenever I did that one spider house in the door's mask, I always made sure I had a couple bottles. That way you wouldn't have to backtrack as much. There he is! High school kid. You're not even facing him. Nope, don't even need to. Don't look at the enemy. You're already pre mad at him. <laughs> He's not Now, bad. is this a different Skull Kid than the one in Majora's Mask? No, it's the no, same one. This is the exact same one. The ending Majora's Mask actually references this portion, too, saying, Hey, I recognize you. You, you seem familiar. And it's because they met here in Ocarina first. Okay. Yeah, that's where the reference comes uh, from. Now, I remember, like, them talking about. Like if you, uh, they pretty much they turn into skull kids because um, because Kakiri's get lost in Lost Woods and they turn into a skull kid. Yeah, I mean this game does also bring that up later too. I'm spazzing my shield. Da -da 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 -da. What else do I do when I'm bored? Is that a roll? All right, it's time for everyone's favorite mini game, the Ocarina mini game. Oh boy. You guys are lucky to have the power of editing because we're cutting to the successful attempts on all three of these. These take forever. At least the one thing I'll give for a randomizer in this, guy, uh, this kind of situation is the devs were nice enough to either give you a skip option if you don't want to do this or you only have to play one round. Here you gotta play three rounds for a heart piece. You see how slow it is? Yeah. It's a game of Simon Says that takes forever. He's gotta play Simon, doesn't he? Pretty much. Yep. For three rounds. First round gives you a green rupee. Second round gives you a blue. Third round gives you a heart piece. That's a pretty big jump in prize worth. <laughs> it's like, here. Here's a penny. Oh, here's a nickel. Oh, here's a brand new car! Well, fuck. <laughs> I mean, I'd like a new car. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Could be like that one girl from The Price is Right and just not know how the math and still win a car. That'd be great. <laughs> what are you- wait, what happened? There was a clip actually from uh, Price is Right where there was this one girl who got to the final round and she did not know how the math. There's one guy who shouted in the audience like 500 and she wrote 50. But she still won the grand prize. <sighs> what the heck? And it's funny, too, because at the end of the round, Bob Barker just sits on the ground. And he's like, I can't believe it. How did she win? She should not have won this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's going to be a sad day when he passes. Oh, yeah. It's already said that Stan Lee passed away. Yeah, it's already. I'm right. already. Yeah. I think it kind of dates this video, but it's like, uh, it kind of really sad. Sorry, I passed. shouldn't have said it, I that's guess. Okay. Although now we got to figure out what was his last cameo. Because that's been going around. Apparently they got, uh, for Avengers 4, his cameo is already in there. Yeah, I heard Avengers 4 is going to be the last one, technically. Well, I think people were like, they know they know Captain Marvel is a true, is, is cameos in that one. Um, they know for a fact that uh, Avengers 4 is... I think they're still deliberating on whether or not it was Spider-Man Far From Home that did his last cameo. Yeah, I, I think it would depend on when the movies come out at that point. Yeah. 
man, it's gonna be sad not seeing his cameo anymore. Well, yeah, because like... any time they had a Marvel thing going on, whether it be a game, TV show, movie, didn't matter. Stan Lee got in there somehow. Well, I mean, he was in Spider-Man PS4, wasn't he? Yeah, that's true. He was in there, one of the random cutscenes with MJ. He was even in um, the Big Hero 6 movie. Yeah, he was in the Big Hero 6 movie. He also was in the Teen Titans Go movie. Yeah, already. he was there as well. The only thing to do with superheroes, pretty much, he was in there. Yep. Which, you know, it, it's weird. He he was in Teen Titans. He made a key, in Teen Titans, and that's DC. Got yeah, Marvel. I was going to say, it wasn't even related to him. It's like, hey, can I be in this? That has a superhero. I want it. Well, At least with Big Hero 6, it made sense because Disney owns Well, Marvel. no, yeah. Well, not before. They didn't at the time Big Hero 6, but now they do. Yeah. Yeah. Finally done. All right, let's get out of here. Never again. But yeah, I, yeah, he made an appearance in the new Spider-Man game. He made a cameo in that I one. I think that's the last game he appears in. Which, eh, at least, it, at least it was a good hunt. I, I, I want to play the new Spider-Man game. Yeah, I mean it's really good. But sir, can we borrow your copy and never give it back? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at that point, I'd just call it digital. Yeah. I'm getting my digital copy. Okay, Darunia. Let's see the dance. So, now that I have Saria's song, I can go ahead and calm him down. Because right now, he's super upset. And Saria's song is the only thing that will calm him down. I mean, look look at his face. He's already like, I'm pissed off. Yeah, he's got that grump face on. Yeah. He's like that one Twitter account on Twitter. Oh my god, there's a Twitter oh, the account. pissed off account. He's that one called... Twitter account on Twitter. Yeah. You mean on Instagram? <laughs> All of the Twitter accounts he means. But it was, uh, there was that one Twitter account called Pissed Off Guy. And they just made one tweet that says, I'm pissed off. No, he made two because, like, a decade later, he made another tweet saying, I'm still pissed off. I'm still pissed off. I'm surprised <laughs> you remember that account still exists and had the credentials for it. Oh, you're playing the stick. So, Duruni is a little upset here, so let, let's just go ahead and play him sorry his song on the stick. Maybe that'll cheer <laughs> him up. It's a tree flute. It's a tree flute. <laughs> he liked it. Oh yeah, it splinters in my <laughs> face. Cluster, <laughs> quit poking with a stick. I love how I backed up with this stick still in the cutscene. Now he's saying oh oh a lot because he has splinters in his face now thanks to the stick. <laughs> I do believe this is actually one of his animations I put in Hyrule Warriors as well. I think so. I'm gonna have to play as. I already played as, as him in that level because I just got to the split timeline portion of the game. Oh yeah, so now you're in the Ocarina side, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm doing the Ocarina stuff because I did the the Twilight Princess and the Skyward Sword stuff already. Oh, okay, so you left that one for last. Makes sense. I love that dance that he does right there, though. <laughs> that was so funny when the first time I seen that. Yeah, it just kind of comes out of nowhere. It's like, all right, he's very upset and he's very serious, and all of a sudden he's goofy dancing all over the place. Like, what the, the total mood whiplash with this guy? <laughs> all because you played him a song on a stick last year. He really liked the song on the stick. What can I say? I played my tree. I played my tree flute. Man, that's if that's all it takes to make somebody happy, give me a million of. Them. Yeah. <laughs> I just carve holes in all these sticks and play like a flute. So he gave us our first strength upgrade, the Goron Bracelet. This allows us to pick up bomb flowers. More importantly, this actually lets us pick up grass. Link is not strong enough to pick up grass on his own. Even as an adult, he still needs the Goron Bracelet to pick up grass. Link can't pull weeds up. <laughs> nope. But he can throw a, a giant boulder that's like 10 feet tall and straight into the air later. Yep. I tell you, his strength is weird. So this heart piece you're technically not supposed to do until you have the bomb bag, but we have access to bomb flowers, so I'm just gonna do this now, even though it takes longer. I wanna. Oh god, this part. Yeah, this is all luck base. Yeah, one out of three chances to get a heart piece. You need the happy face. If you get happy face your first try, it's great, but usually you get, like, neutral face. <laughs> the meh face. <laughs> not impressed. Do again. Yep. Meh. Well, not only that, you have to aim 
just right to get it inside too. Yeah, although fun fact though, you can jump down from the top platform inside this pot and you void out. Tently counts as a bomb's pit in there. Oh my god. Yeah, don't jump in the pot. Are you gonna get it? Yeah, second Yeah. Try. Normally that takes like six with the bomb flowers. He's hard. Hi, Rupee. You're blocking me. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I just got 20. What did that say? I assembled another heart container. That's what that said. Oh. Now I got six hearts. Okay. Well, Jesus. you're just you're just moving on up in the world, aren't well, you? That's true. That's only six out of twenty. Gotta have a lot of help. That's still an F. Exactly. Got a long way to go. Six out of twenty is still an F, Lester. Hey, we're just beginning. Give me some time to work up to that C. <laughs> we'll get C to the rank. C rank before we go to adult. I promise you that. Oh, uh, you're gonna do this part. Yeah. Okay. Well, you gotta go ahead and take the spawn flower to open up the dungeon. It's the only way to get in there right now. But. We're also going to go heart piece seven years early, because all you got to do to get to this one without planting a magic bean, you literally just jump off the cliff. What, the bomb? Yeah, it's a little hard to maneuver around the bomb, but you can just backflip down and, hey, free piece of heart. I knew you was going to do that. I think everyone does that nowadays, because I don't think I see a single person get that piece of heart now with the bean. Nope. So, normally you're supposed to use a magic bean to get over there? Yep. Yeah, a magic bean, and then it, like, transforms into, like, the plant ride thing, like, from Jorah's mouse. Yeah, although that doesn't happen until you go adult, so you gotta wait a while until you can get that. Come on, guys, what the fuck? Oh, they missed the hole, why? Um, you can do that cheat that Lester just did, which I've even done that. That's not that hard to do now. Yeah. You gotta bug and multiply to the 30. Yeah, I love how that works. It just makes the sculptural quest a lot easier. And that, we have our next bug, and we have our next dungeon open up. So let's go ahead and back walk in, and fight me some Dodongos. Because you gotta oh be cool boy, to walk I back can't in. wait to bomb some Dodongos. But you're gonna have to wait, because that's the next part. Oh. Now I'm sad.